120 amps okay there we go they're sagging down to 2.91 volts Woo! well that didn't go exactly as I hoped for today I'm gonna show you what 4,000 amps looks like it looks something like this that's about 10,000 watts and it's all gonna be pushed by batteries let's do this all right this project here is very simple my aim is to basically show you how powerful lithium batteries that we're using for our DIY projects. I don't want to scare anyone, but this sort of power, the batteries that we're all using, should be respected. And today I'm going to attempt to show it to you visually so that you can see what would happen if you were ever to short one of your battery packs, right? So let's build a rig so that we can do it safely. First thing, we're going to use a high-powered headway 38120 cells, which are lithium iron phosphate and generally consider one of the safest lithium chemistries out there. These are perfect for this demonstration because they can put out a ton of power, generally above 300 amps on a dead short without damaging the cells and with very low risk of fire. We will need to make a custom bus bar to connect all of our 12 cells together in parallel configuration. For this we will be using a 0.08 inch thick easy to weld 5052 aluminum sheet, 6 inches by 6 inches in size. Using a 5 16 drill bit you have to drill 14 holes on each plate to screw the cells in place. Here we go. This should do it here. One, two, three, four. So this is 12 cells. Each one of those cells on a dead short here can put out about 300 amps, uh, as my other video showed. So let's test it. All right. Three hundred and thirty degrees. I think that's probably the most that this thing will measure. That's why it's uh, yeah. Oh, look at those cables glow. There we go. There we go. Look at it go! Look at it go! It's glowing! Oh. I'm going to 
All right, things to note here, the 126.6 amps on the meter is obviously wrong. Even though the cells are capable of close to 4,000 amps, it's really hard to say just how much current those cables were seeing. My guess would be somewhere around 1,500 amps, really based on nothing, just a wild guess. Also, the 330C on my thermal camera is obviously wrong. Here's what I found on the internet. Melting point of forged steel. Steel is just the element of iron that has been processed to control the amount of carbon. Iron out of the ground melts at around 1500 degrees. So iron out of the ground melts at around 1500 degrees. Steel often melts around 1300 degrees. So what about forged steel? Isn't forging... Hmm, wow, those are crazy numbers. So even though this is an extreme case, as not everyone is using such powerful cells, these are fairly popular in competition audio crowds and RB folks replacing lead assets batteries. And sometimes they have hundreds of these cells in their battery packs. So melting stuff, it's a real possibility for a lot of people these days. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're looking for these or other types of lithium batteries, check my lithium battery sources link down in the description of this video. Also, if you want to learn more about lithium batteries and building your very own DIY battery packs, check out this book. It's a great tool to learn the basics of battery tech. All right, with that, I say thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I thought Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, I thought, I see. Yes, it's good.